everybody and welcome to another Python tutorial series. This series is going to be dedicated to pandas. So if you're not already familiar with pandas, pandas is basically a it's like a module that combines a lot of other modules and brings a little bit of its own stuff to the table to make data analysis, data manipulation, and also data visualization really quick and easy. So uh, that's what we're going to have a series on. If you've been following uh, some of my other tutorials, I did have a Python pandas with sentiment analysis. That's more of like an applied tutorial video series with pandas. If you're just looking for the pandas basics and you want to do your own thing with pandas, you just want to learn a little bit about pandas, uh, then this will be the series for you. So anyway, with that, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys how to get pandas and all of that. So if uh, you go to pandas their website or how to get pandas is going to be pandas.pydata.org and when you get there this is probably something similar to what you will see um, you'll probably want to click on get pandas and then if you come down here uh, you can get everything on the PyPy website you can also go to this guy's website here which I have already in a tab and then you can also get the source tarball from github so here is where uh, on PyPy you can come down here and you can get you know the source. You can also get a downloadable as well, um, and then also if we go to their GitHub, you can get the source. And then finally, this is the website that they had suggested. I like using this website. It's a bunch of Windows installers. So if you're on a Windows, this is really simple. If you're not on Windows, then sorry, uh, you'll have to get it. I'll probably just get it from uh, their PyPy page personally. But when you do get it, or wherever you go, you have to understand that you need a bunch of modules. So let me do uh, control F, pandas, and we'll find pandas. <clears throat> and when you come down here, you can see that it requires NumPy, DateUtil, and PyTZ. So you're going to need to download all of those. I would just hold down your control key and click, click, click if you don't already have them. Um, the next thing that we're going to want, I don't think we'll use SciPy in this series. Uh, but if you don't have SciPy, you might as well get it. People use it a lot. Matplotlib, we will use, so you'd want to pull that one up. And that should be it. If this is your first real series that you've ever done with Python, a lot of people get Python just to use pandas. There might be some other things you need. Date Utils is here. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that people bring up all the time uh, that they need. Names are all evading me. But if, if when you go to install pandas or import pandas at the end and you have a problem, just. Uh, leave a comment and I'll help you all out. So anyways, uh, download this, install pandas, and make sure you install for sure NumPy, DateUtil, PyTZ, and Matplotlib. And if you want to, go ahead and grab these other things. Uh, these are all pretty good ones. I've never used SQL Alchemy, um, but I've used SciPy, Bottleneck. I don't think I've ever used this NumExpert, but anyway. Um, so get those, and when all, when you're done downloading, or when you think you're all done downloading, open up you know Python interpreter here, and do import pandas. And if you can import pandas, then you did it right. If you get an error, you did something wrong. And if you can't figure it out, again, just leave a comment below, and I'm probably able to help you out. Chances are you're just missing an import or something, and you'll probably see it even when you do the install, or when you do import pandas, it'll say specifically no module named. And if you don't have that module, what you should do, if you're especially on your window, if you're on Windows, come to this website and just search for it either in this big chunk of text, it's in alphabetical order, or just use Control F and search for, you know, like say you want a NumPy. Oh man, it went all the way to the bottom. I thought we had NumPy here. Yeah, you can get NumPy here as well. You click it, you come down here, and you can download what you need. So when you're all done, uh, you should be able to import pandas, and then you'll be ready uh, to program with us in the next video. So. Anyway, again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the section below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.